What's up guys? If you are new, welcome. Your girl Sandra here with another makeup tutorial. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe. For today's makeup look, I was inspired by this new Morphe 35B palette. Like, look at the range of colors. Like, I don't know if I can get too crazy with all of them, but I know that definitely this yellow shade here with this shimmery yellow shade really spoke to my soul. And I was like, you know what? I need to create a makeup look and nothing better than springtime to create this look. It's a little hard to see right now with the camera zoomed out, but it is a nice pop of color on the lid. And then I paired it with a glossy lip. You already know your girl has to be highlighted to the gods. So, you know, we did the whole shebang on the face. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this makeup look, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, to start off, I am gonna go ahead and prep my face. I am gonna be using the Advanced Clinicals Collagen. It is just in this little bottle and it comes with a dropper. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a little bit and start putting it on my face. Collagen is super good for your skin, especially to prevent aging. So we definitely wanna apply some onto the skin. And then I just rub it in with my fingers. I love using this product because it gives me super firm, soft skin. And I love that feeling, especially before we apply the rest of our makeup. To the next product, I'm gonna be taking the Revolution Luminous Gold Drops. I'm just gonna be applying this on the face as well. I just wanna have a nice, luminous, soft, young looking skin for this makeup look. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this on the areas where I highlight, just to accentuate my high points and just give ourselves a nice glow. And then to blend it out, I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm gonna start blending this into the skin. I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced Hangover RX. It looks just like this. And I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of this onto the T-zone area just to help stay matte. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm in the shade 332, which is Golden Caramel. I am a little bit tanner now um, after going to Florida last month, so I like using this one because it just matches my body the best. I'm just gonna be applying it on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna be just dotting it onto the skin and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Taking a flat brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Next, I'm gonna go in with my tart shape tape and I'm just gonna be applying this on the lid to clean up under the brow and then it will also play um, as my base to apply my shadow over top. And then taking a bone color shade, which is this one in the Kylie palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and Set that. For today's makeup look, we are gonna be playing with the Morphe 35B palette. And it is a beautiful, colorful palette. It is perfect for spring and summer. And we're gonna be using this yellow shade right here. But before we do that, I do need a transition shade. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go into the Kylie Bronze palette. And I'm gonna be taking these two shades right here in the palette for my transition shade. And then I will be going into the palette to apply our color over the lid. So let's go ahead and get to it. To take that transition shade, I'm gonna start off using my Mikasa E320 brush and I'm gonna be picking up the color and start applying it over the lid. This 
look a little bit more just to add a little bit more definition and pop of color so I'm going to be taking the orangey shade in the palette and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right over that crease color that we just applied transition shade it's very subtle and soft um, we are going to be applying a little bit of yellow onto uh, the eyelid so for that I like to use a, a white pencil and it just helps to act as a base to intensify that yellow color just because sometimes pigments are bright but they're not bright enough so you want to go in with a yellow or whatever color you're using if not you can just resort to white which is what I'm going to be doing and you're just going to apply that on the center of the lid brush I'm just gonna go in and start blending that out going into the palette I'm gonna be picking up this yellow shade on a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna be applying that on the center area where we applied that white color So gorgeous. It's definitely on the spring and summer vibe. So it's definitely a vibe. Just pack this color on just so that we can go ahead and get the pigmentation that we want from that yellow color. I am going to be taking a smaller precise brush I'm going to be taking this darker brown color in the palette which is this one right here and I'm going to start just applying that on the outer corner just to kind of give us a nice smoky eye look shut off in the middle of me finishing this eye but all I did was just finish packing on that yellow color and then I went in with the Milani eye tech extreme liquid liner and I just did a nice soft wing for the inner corner taking a smaller brush I'm gonna be taking the lighter yellow shimmery shade which is this one right here and I'm just gonna be applying this in the inner corner just to kind of give it a nice highlight I love a good inner corner highlight so this is definitely a must for my makeup looks moving on to the rest of the face I'm gonna go ahead and come back to the eyes a little bit later but I'm gonna go in with the uh, tart shape tape I'm in light medium and I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes just a little bit to brighten up this area I am filming with regular daylight and it is actually kind of cloudy so if my lighting keeps going in and out it's just because the sun keeps playing me and he keeps going in and out so I'll go ahead and try to work with what I'm given. For today, I am going to be using a cream contour stick. This one is by Wet n Wild and it is the Where's Walnut 
contour stick and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the areas where I usually bronze up I like using a cream contour before just bronzing because it gives you a nice golden um, bronzy look and it just gives it a nice color so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out I'm gonna go in with the Airspun Loose Powder. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. I'm not really gonna bake, I'm just gonna go ahead and set. So I'm just gonna apply this under the areas where I concealed so that it keeps my concealer from creasing. skin and set our cream contour I'm gonna be using the physicians formula bronze booster this is in medium to dark and I'm just gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and set those areas Today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. blush palette. It looks just like this and I'm going to be using this corner right here. It's just a nice coral peachy shade which will complement the eye look very nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up on a small fluffy brush and place that on the apples of my cheeks just for a nice flush of color. take a little bit of this pink color too and then mix both of those together Look to the center of the nose there just to give it a nice sun-kissed effect before I finish my face I'm gonna go in and do my lower lash line we're just gonna be using the same colors that we used from the Kylie bronze palette on the lid to do the lower lash line so we're just gonna be taking these two colors right here mixing them together and we're gonna apply that on the lower lash As you know, I don't do falsies, so I'm going to be doing my Lash Sensational from Maybelline and just giving them a nice curl, and I'm going to be right back when I have my mascara on. Okay, so I went ahead and did my lashes off of camera. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set my brows. I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Brow Precise. It is my go-to, so I'm going to go ahead and set my brows before moving on to highlight. Today I'm going to be using the Milani Cosmetics Highlighter. This is in Strobe Light and it is really pretty. It is a nice gold champagne highlight. So I'm going to be taking this and applying it on the high points of my face. I just want to keep everything nice and neutral so I am going to be using the Milani Spice lip liner and lip line and then I will be using a nude lipstick to put on top of this. I'm going to 
be going in with this Love & Beauty from Forever 21. It is just a nude color and honestly I've had it for a couple of years and I just don't know the name. The little sticker came off and I've tried to look for it um, at the store and I can't find it but it is literally the most precious like peachy nude color and I'm obsessed with it and I'm so sad because I can't find it and I'm literally almost out but it's lasted me like two years so I literally won't wear it as often. want to top it off with a little bit of gloss just because it really brings it together so I'm going to be using the MAC lip gloss and I'm just going to apply a nice coat over my lips and to lock this face in place I'm going to go in with the Milani make it last setting spray and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the skin It smells so good. So yeah, you guys, this completes the look. This is what the eyes look like. It is a nice like sunset color, which I am living for. And it is just super cute, very wearable. You can still wear it out during the daytime and still looks super cute. And if you guys recreate this look, let me know. I'd love to see what you guys came up with. If you guys have any suggestions for videos in the future, let me know in the comments down below. I will be linking all of these products also down in the description bar. Make sure to check that out. I will see you guys in my next tutorial.